Today I'm going to be playing some Pirate Warrior, because the Wailing Caverns mini set gave the deck some pretty nice tools. Uh, the first of those is going to be the Whetstone Hatchet, which is just a nice weapon that we can play on turn one. And we can curve that right into Man at Arms, which if we have a weapon is a 2 mana 3 4, so very powerful. And the core set also gave this deck some pretty nice tools. We got Bloodsail Deckhand, which can be played on turn one with the Whetstone Hatchet, very powerful. Or it can make our Outrider's Axe come out a turn early. And we also got the Fog Sail Freebooter, which is just good in a weapon deck. And then other than that, we're just playing some aggro stuff that has synergy with pirates and weapons. Well, the one drop seems pretty good. Hopefully I can find a hatchet. Beautiful hand. Wow. Okay, that's a really good draw. My coin costing more here actually was terrible, but my deck bailed me out. Love to see it. This is a 5-3. It's pretty big. Speaking of pretty big, um, probably trade my 3-1 into that. Or it's a 3-2 actually, whatever. That Cult Neophyte's annoying again. I really wanted to go Freebooter, Coin, uh, South Sea Captain here. Probably just have to play Sword Eater. Maybe... Okay. I mean, my opponent is getting pretty low on life. That's strong, though. I can one-shot it, though. Pretty sure I just have lethal here. Easy. I do have a 1, 2, 3 curve. I don't know that Captain is necessarily a card I keep off the mulligan. Freebooter either, honestly. I have so many draws, uh, like a Man at Arms or a Blood Raider here, though, that it should be fine. Beautiful. I might coin out the privates here next turn, especially since it got buffed. But it just makes my weapon deal so much more damage. And it even makes my Blood Cell Raider bigger when she eventually comes down.
So I can go Captain into double two drop and then just play another weapon on five. I can play Man at Arms here, which is just a three four. Play Blood Cell Raider, which is just a four or a five three. Maybe. Try to save the South Sea Captain for just a bigger board or some burst or something. Let's just play a 5-3, because it does 5 damage. If Captain was, like, any better here, I probably would have played it. So the plan was to play Captain plus Man at Arms on 5, but that's pretty bad into Imprisoned Observer. Rastanov. I have so many weapon charges, it should be easy to find a Krasinov at some point this game. I don't need to hold this one. So I'm showing nine. Let's just play a nice Razor Main Raider and go face. If the Razor Main connects, then I just need to play a weapon to have lethal. Well, the Razor Main Raider's pretty good into those at least. Beautiful. Try to find a weapon to go with his deck hand. Don't think there's much reason to keep anything else. Oh my god, please give me a whetstone hatchet. My hand is so insane if I can find it. And my opponent's playing a garbage deck, so I can definitely beat them if I find it. Okay, the Outrider's Axe is pretty good as well. Probably just coin that into Ratchet Privateer. No overgrowth, please. Why do I even bother saying please? Well, my weapon does 12 damage. That's quite a lot. Actually, all four of the C'Thun pieces were pretty good there, so can't complain too much about that. Both of these minions live, Rukar is pretty good next turn. I would prefer not to get Celestial alignmented here. But uh, that's interesting, actually. I can just kill that with a weapon, potentially.
beautiful overdraw. So yeah, I probably do need to kill that. And I'm not super confident I'll draw something better, so we'll go ahead and play this. Scenarian Ward's a hell of a card. God, that's an insane card to hit. I can't even deal with it. I'm pretty sure it's not practical for me to kill this, but... Can I ever win the game if I leave this up? I want to puke. I mean, I'm still winning on board, though. I have a good hand. My opponent actually only has four mana to work with here. Might have been worth keeping Krasinov around, but I got to push so much damage by trading it. I can deal 20 damage here by just using this as a whirlwind. Leave my opponent at six. I've seen Maw of Cthulhu already, so I don't really know how my opponent deals with this in one shot. So I feel like I can probably always whirlwind it. I can play a four four versus a six four. The six four deals one damage to this. Hopefully I don't regret this, but I feel like I should be able to get this damage in, usually. Oh, Overgrowth is super not scary. Beautiful. Well, the deckhand is good. Beautiful hatchet. I do need to find a two drop, but I play eight of them. I have a lot of weapon charges in the deck, so I'm just going to start swinging and getting buffs. Missed my two drop. It's amazing how often I miss my two drop in the stack. There's my two drop, of course.
My board lines up pretty nicely against that. Oh, I missed one armor here. Oops. That's fine, though. God, this quill borer is huge. Buffing the attack on this is actually kind of good because of its frenzy. Not too scary. The opponent's only got three mana. Wow, that's an insane tech card. Um, I guess I can trade, or I can do this. And then we can clear without missing damage. Even if my board gets cleared here, I have Nitro Boost Poison for my weapon. I don't think this can ever be good enough. Definitely not with a 5-5. Alright. That was a pretty solid victory for us. At this point, I've played a lot of games with this deck. I've gone through... Plenty of different iterations for the build, and I can safely say that it's just not that great. All of our two drops are really good if we hit the whetstone hatchet on turn one, but it turns out we don't actually draw this card on turn one every game, and in that case all of our two mana plays are kind of garbage, and even some of our three mana plays aren't great. The Bloodsail deckhand is in theory a good card. But we play the Whetstone Hatchet, and then we kind of have to play the Outrider's Axe, but there's no way we're not playing Sword Eaters. So it's like kind of a few too many weapons. I feel like instead of the Blood Seal Deckhand, I would rather just be playing Imprisoned Ganarg. But unfortunately, the Imprisoned Ganarg doesn't have too much synergy with our two drops either. I'm currently trying out this Frenzy package, but that seems a bit too slow. I've played other stuff in the place of it, and none of that stuff was really that good either. Uh, Man at Arms is certainly a good card if you can play it on turn two, but you don't always get to do that. So yeah, I think for the most part the concept of the deck just kind of fell through. It seems like you can start making improvements to this deck, but then you're just eventually... You're just playing Rush Warrior. So uh, yeah, kind of feels like this is just bad Rush Warrior. A deck that already exists and is competitive. So, unfortunate. But at least the pirates are cool, right?